What is up, Marvel Universe fans or Captain America fans? It's Ash Rock back with another review. This is going to be on the Captain America movie series Red Skull. Um, absolutely sick, sick figure. I mean, the only other uh, Red Skull you have in a 3 and 3 fourth inch scale is the San Diego Comic Con 2009 um, Red Skull that comes with the it's Invaders box set. Um, comes with Captain America, Red Skull. Namor and Human Torch, all the old school, um, in an old school setting, it's the Invaders, obviously, so, um, that set is sick, but it's very hard to come by, and when you do, you're going to pay a lot of money for it, no doubt, so, um, you do have this, though, you have the Captain America one that just came out, um, we're going to start off with the paint apps, um, absolutely sick with the red. It is not just a solid red, it's got shades of black throughout, um, all the way around. And then you got the dark, dark red hands, um, really well detailed in there. Uh, it comes with this Luger, this German Luger, which is actually pretty neat. I didn't think it was that bad. Um, at first I thought it was kind of plain, but it's got the little ridges on the uh, handle, and then it's kind of a metallic kind of... Uh, Luger, uh, his coat and his, you know, his jacket and everything is a solid military color. Uh, he's got the blacks on the inside there, the black coming down the um, buttons and the belt all the way around. Some of the details for the, the pockets, and then he's got solid black boots, which is really cool. I think that's really cool. That's stupid though. Why would they put the number there? I just noticed that. That is so retarded. You know, put it at the bottom of the foot where you can't see it, man. You know, and that's you can tell uh, the difference between the the Marvel Universe and the movie series ones. I mean, you can tell Dave Viner's not retarded to put a number right there for everybody to see. Like, hey, here you go. He's number 10731. Idiots. Anyways, uh, so really cool with this paint apps. Uh, five out of five for the paint apps. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Even though this green is very... Uh, Plain. It's got a lot of it's got a lot of uh, shades of green in there too. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but it is it is not just your solid green. So and then being a military, you gotta have they're very solid colors. They're very um, you know straightforward colors with the military. Uh, in terms of articulation, head rotates all the way around, up and down with the arm all the way around. Single jointed elbows. And that goes with all those crappy movie figures. That's the thing that pisses me off about them. Uh, wrist rotates. Uh, does not really move up and down. That's me kind of bending the plastic. Uh, upper bicep. Double jointed knees. Nothing with the ankle at all. And, you know, in terms of rotating and pivoting, nothing. That is just me bending. You guys can see. That's just bending. <clears throat> Uh, and then you can't really go in or out with them because it's limited by this. Whoa! It's limited by this uh, his jacket, so you really can't do anything with the legs other than keep them right where they are. Okay. Um, so for articulation, I give him a four out of five, um, just because of yeah some of the limited articulation, but. Uh, overall, guys, I, think I give this guy a solid 4 out of 5. Um, you know what? Yeah, 4 out of 5. That's what I meant. Um, a lot of it has to do with the articulation more than anything. What makes this figure, though, is the paint job and the way he looks. I mean, he is demonic looking. <sighs> they did such a good job with this. I'm not a big fan of the movie. When it comes to the movie figures, I'm not a huge fan. Like, I thought the Thor movie series suck the only thing worth picking up there is the destroyer um and there's two different destroyers um the loki's are horrible uh, that whole yeah that whole thing sucks and the iron man's i thought were cool i mean basically only because you had so many different suits of iron man which is cool to collect but in terms of his you know they, they just repainted everything so i wasn't a big fan of that and then the wolverine origins but with the captain america you already got some really cool figures you got the uh, crossbones which i also reviewed and then you get this uh, um, uh, Red Skull. So uh, definitely I say pick them up, guys. Um, solid, solid figure. If you're looking for a villain for Captain America or just another villain in general, he is really cool. 
And I forgot, he, he also comes with, I'm sorry, he does come with this little energy thing. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I'm sure someone out there might know what it is. It does sit in his hand, kind of. Not really that well, but, um, yeah, whatever. Uh, and then he also comes with this stupid gimmicky gun. Had a little thing where he put it in there, blast it out, and real stupid. I already lost it. Stupid. Not even worth it. Just keep him, keep him with the Luger. Looks a lot cooler. Lot cooler. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Please subscribe. Uh, give me some comments and uh, give me some thumbs up. All right. You guys have a good one. Good, good one. Peace. Roads. Roods. Peace.